It's hard to understand exactly what Kingmaker by Top Shelf Grind is claiming to help with, given the ridiculous claims of being a quote, formula designed to dramatically improve all components of the modern male's life. What does that even mean? They even suggest it can enhance physiognomy and boost social status. So now you're telling me a pill can make you more attractive and popular? But aside from these crazy claims, the biggest question is what exactly does this supplement do? Looking at the ingredients, we can get a glimpse of their intentions, which might involve a group of compounds known as ectosteroids. But what are ectosteroids and what effects do they have? Ectosteroids are a group of compounds believed to have muscle building properties in mammals. However, mammals don't naturally produce them. Instead, they're found in arthropods and plants. In arthropods like shrimp and spiders, ectosteroids play roles in metabolic processes such as malting, development, and reproduction. In plants, they serve as protective chemicals against insects. You can find ectosteroids in various herbs and even certain produce like spinach, which contains the highest amount of ectosteroids among fresh produce. For instance, spinach contains around 0.01% ectosteroids in fresh weight. This means that a 30 gram serving of raw spinach contains roughly 3 milligrams of ectosteroids. Kingmaker includes small amount of ectosteroids sourced from bugle extract, also known as Ajuga turkestanica, and cyanotis vaga extract. Ectosteroids bear a chemical resemblance to testosterone, sparking interest in their potential for enhancing muscle growth during exercise as well as improving libido in men. Studies on mice and rats seem promising, but human research is much less convincing. In one study, trained male athletes were given an ectosteroid, but it did not lead to increases in muscle size or strength. However, another study focusing on strength training showed minor improvements in muscle size and strength with an ectosteroid extracted from spinach. Similarly, another study using spinach extracts high in ectosteroids found an increase in muscle strength during exercise. Three key points emerge from the limited human research on ectosteroids. Firstly, there is no human evidence at all to suggest that ectosteroids can affect libido in men. So let's just throw that theory out the window. Secondly, they may slightly enhance muscle strength in those actively engaged in muscle building exercise, but won't do much if you're not exercising. So you've got to be weight training for it to be possibly useful. Finally, studies that actually showed benefits used ectosteroids from spinach extracts, unlike the study that found no benefits, which utilized ectosteroids from a herbal source, similar to how Kingmaker sources theirs. This suggests that the beneficial effects might not have primarily come from the ectosteroids, but from the other beneficial compounds present in the spinach extracts. To sum up ectosteroids, their benefits in humans are inconsistent and may be more related to the overall nutritional benefits of spinach rather than the ectosteroids themselves. Outside of exercise performance and muscle growth, ectosteroids haven't really been studied for other purposes, and despite their similar structure to testosterone, there's no evidence that consuming it affects the testosterone levels in humans. Now let's take a look at the other ingredients. Here are the doses per capsule. The recommended daily dose is 5 caps. Let's analyze the doses they use, whether they're using the active compounds to work, and whether there's any evidence it can help with exercise performance or improving libido. We've also already talked about ectosteroids, so we won't go into them any further. The nutrients vitamin D, magnesium, zinc, and boron are essential for those engaged in intense exercise routines to support healthy muscle growth and exercise. But do supplementing with these nutrients actually improve muscle growth and performance? For vitamin D, a study provided young athletes with a large dose of 50,000 IUs of vitamin D3, but it didn't lead to any improvements in physical performance. Another study administered large doses of vitamin D to middle-aged and elderly individuals, yet it failed to enhance muscle strength. When it comes to magnesium, several studies examining various types of magnesium suggest that supplementation likely does not affect athletic performance. In the case of zinc, a study gave zinc and selenium to individuals on a weight loss program, but it didn't result in any changes in body composition or exercise performance. 
As for boron, a small study involving male bodybuilders found that taking boron did not increase lean body mass, muscle mass, or testosterone levels compared to a placebo. So if these nutrients are vital for exercise, why don't supplements seem to help? The key lies in moderation. While it's important to get a diverse diet rich in these nutrients during training, taking more than you need through supplements doesn't lead to additional muscle growth or performance improvements. For grape and apple polyphenols, there's no evidence indicating it boosts muscle growth or strength. In healthy men, taking a supplement called Vinitrox that contained 250 milligrams of apple and grape polyphenols did not increase most measurements of cardiorespiratory fitness. Surprisingly, it even prolonged the time needed to recover from the exercise. However, it did slightly increase the exercise time before exhaustion by about 10%. Beet juices and concentrates have been extensively studied for exercise performance and recovery. They enhance nitric oxide levels, promoting better blood flow and efficient gas exchange, and are most beneficial for aerobic exercise. Research indicates that beetroot juice can enhance cardiorespiratory endurance in athletes. It may also reduce muscle soreness and increase pain tolerance during aerobic activities, extending their duration. However, beetroot juice does not seem to improve the intensity or performance of high intensity anaerobic workouts like weightlifting. Similarly, it doesn't improve performance in elite athletes as studies on elite cyclists, elite runners, elite sprinters, and elite water polo players have shown no benefits. So beetroot juices are better at enhancing exercise performance and recovery for aerobic exercises among non-professional athletes, but they're not very effective for high intensity or elite level performance. However, these studies used large amounts of beetroot juice, between a quarter to a half cup, which is about 60 to 120 grams. Powdered beetroot hasn't been studied as much as beetroot root juice, but it's generally estimated that 10 grams of beetroot juice is roughly equivalent to 1 gram of beetroot powder. So 60 to 120 grams of beetroot juice is about the same as 6 to 12 grams of beetroot powder. Kingmaker only uses a few hundred milligrams of powdered beetroot, which is still far too little to have any real effect. Fidogia agrestis is a herb traditionally used to boost libido in men. However, there's no evidence from human trials to support its effectiveness for this purpose or its use in exercise. Black maca, a root vegetable, has long been used in traditional medicine for boosting energy. A small clinical study suggests that taking 2,500 milligrams of black maca twice daily for 8 weeks might enhance certain aspects of physical performance. However, this study lacks a control group and doesn't account for the placebo effect, making its findings unreliable. Plus, Kingmaker falls far short of the dose used in this study. Maca has also been traditionally used to boost male fertility. However, research indicates that it does not improve sperm concentration in males. There's no evidence suggesting that horse chestnut extracts can enhance exercise performance. Some limited research suggests that taking essin, a compound found in horse chestnut, might slightly increase sperm density in men suffering from infertility. However, there's no evidence it can help healthy men without fertility issues. Tonkat Alley, also known as Uricoma longiforia or longjack, is a tree native to Southeast Asian countries. It has been studied for its potential effects on athletic performance, but findings are mostly negative. A small study involving male athletes found that taking 150 milligrams of Tonkat Alley daily didn't improve running performance compared to a placebo. Another study in males showed that taking a specific brand of Tonkat Alley extract at 300 milligrams daily didn't in enhance physical fitness. However, it did seem to improve libido scores. One theory is that Tonkat Alley may slightly boost testosterone levels. However, this doesn't seem to boost libido in healthy younger men. Only older men with existing libido problems notice a difference. So if you don't have any libido issues, it probably won't do much for you. Additionally, the doses used in these studies are much higher than those in Kingmaker. In short, the ingredient analysis shows that Kingmaker definitely won't make you more attractive and popular, and likely does not help with exercise performance or libido in men. 
Supplements like Kingmaker often employ unethical tactics to target a specific group of people, insecure young men. These individuals, driven by feelings of inadequacy or low self-esteem, become susceptible to marketing strategies promising quick fixes or miraculous results. They may be more likely to believe these crazy promises due to their desperation for change and may end up overlooking any lack of evidence or logical inconsistencies. I mean, just look at these outrageous statements. The Matrix wants you weak. They want to marginalize masculinity and maximize estrogenic. Kingmaker represents the truth. Kingmaker represents the acceptance of your limitless potential. Seriously, what do these even mean? Are they taglines for the Matrix? From the ingredients, it seems that Kingmaker is trying to enhance exercise performance and male libido. However, most of their ingredients lack solid human research, with only weak studies in humans or research limited to rats. They use uncommon ingredients to stand out, but the reality is they're uncommon for a reason. They simply don't work well, as the lack of evidence suggests. Additionally, the steep cost of the supplement can trap users in the sunk cost fallacy. Young men who've invested heavily in the product may feel a stronger attachment to it, viewing the cost as a symbol of their dedication to self-improvement. Admitting that the supplement wasn't doing anything for them would mean admitting to their wasted money and failure in their pursuit of improvement, which can be particularly devastating for those already struggling with insecurity. Kingmaker is selling for around $150 per month. If you really want to replicate what it was realistically trying to achieve, you would combine beetroot juice with the nutrients vitamin D, magnesium, zinc, and boron, all of which you can find in most multivitamins. Beetroot extract is around $2 a month. Generic multivitamins are around $5 a month. If you really want to add some ectosteroids, even though they likely won't actually do anything, I just use a spinach powder or just eat some spinach every day, which is around $10 a month. Combined, that's only $17 a month. Rating Kingmaker by effectiveness for improving exercise performance or improving libido, I'm giving it a D. It doesn't affect libido. And while some ingredients have been studied for exercise performance, the supporting evidence and doses used are too weak to be effective. Rated by cost, I'm giving it an F. It can be easily replicated at a much cheaper cost by taking the individual ingredients. Bring it for safety, I'm giving it a C. Many of these herbs are not well studied in humans and as a result, cannot guarantee it's safe to take long term. Overall rating, I'm giving an F. I would recommend you stay away from it. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young. Do you think it's worth it? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a like. Hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date and share this video with someone you know who use the info.